Now we will see the typical case when the straight line is inclined to both the reference planes. First we will take the inclination of the line with respect to the horizontal plane. Then I will consider the inclination with respect to the vertical plane. That means first I will take theta after that I will take phi. Now the straight line is in both HP and VP. Now I will take the straight line some distance in front of the VP. This is my situation. This is the stage 1. In this case I will get the front view on the XY line and top view some distance in front of VP. That means top view will come below the XY line and next I will take the inclination with respect to the horizontal plane. You know observe. Now it is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. When it is parallel to VP and inclined to HP that is the second stage. In this stage we will get the reduced length in the top view and true length will remain in the front view. Observe here. Now I have kept a triangle like this so that I can clearly see the reduced length here and the position of the second end from the horizontal plane that means this height I can see in the front view and this is the reduced in top view in this case suppose I am trying to rotate this particular straight line with respect to VP then I am not taking the true length I am taking the reduced length that means I am not not able to rotate the true length of the straight line so I can't rotate it directly and I, I can rotate it but I can't represent the projection onto the plane directly because here I am getting the reduced length that's why what I will do is I will observe one parameter here this parameter height remains same when it is inclined to VP now observe here now I am giving the inclination with respect to VP whatever may be the inclination of the line with respect to the vertical plane observe this end this end distance from the horizontal plane is remains same previously it is somewhere here and after rotation it will shift to some point but height remains same in the front view ok this observation I will use now see the second observation that is when the line is inclined to VP first then I will give the inclination with respect to HP I will take the simple position something like this some distance above the HP and it is in the VP that means front view will obtain some distance above the XY line and top view will be on the XY line now I will rotate it like this such that this end remains in the vertical plane and this end is in front of the vertical plane this is the case parallel to HP and inclined to VP in this case I will get the reduced length in the front view observe here I will get the reduced length in the front view and the true length I will get in the top view now observe this end distance from the vertical plane that is this distance now I am trying to give the inclination with respect to HP that is theta but whatever may be the inclination of this line with respect to the horizontal plane observe this end of the straight line remains at the same distance from the vertical position vertical plane now observe now the projection is somewhere here on the horizontal plane projection of this point after giving the inclination with respect to HP now observe this distance remains same from the VP but projection is shifted to some point on the horizontal plane so this particular observation I will use because here I can give the inclination with respect to VP but I can't directly represent the inclination with respect to HV because in the front view I will get the reduced length not the true length because of this by mixing these two observations I will make the general method when the straight line is inclined to both the planes something like this.
this is called as the standard problem in this the first step is draw the simple portion of the straight line when the straight line is some distance above hp and some distance in front of vb the simple portion is something like this that is a dash b1 dash and a b1 then give the inclination with respect to the horizontal plane some theta rotate it something like this to theta angle call this point as b2 dash and from here draw the projector and obtain the front view this point as b2 now when the line is inclined to hp and parallel to vp then this is the true length and this is the reduced length and uh, we have done we have taken the first observation when the line is inclined to hp then inclined to vp means this particular height from the horizontal plane that means this height remains same this distance remains same from the xy line that's why here i have drawn a locus line something like this this is called locus of b dash or locus of the front views then now take the inclination with respect to vp that is phi i have rotated this to some phi angle and i have called this point as some b3 from b3 i got the reduced length that is b3 dash now this is the situation when the line is inclined only to vp and parallel to hp when the line is inclined to vp and parallel to hp means we will get the reduced length in the front and true length in the top view true inclination is phi and another the second observation what we have observed in the animation is when the line is first inclined to vp then inclined to hp the distance of this point remains same in the top view that means this distance remains same that's why here we have taken a locus line this is called locus of b now to get the final projection what you have to do is take a dash as center a dash b3 dash as radius draw an arc onto this locus line like this automatically this arc will intersect with b dash this is b then take a as center a b2 as radius draw an arc like this this will intersect with this line this is b now b dash and b will lie on the same projector as shown here that is the verification and uh, the inclination of this final front view is called as alpha the inclination of final top view is called as beta and alpha beta are called as apparent angles because when the straight line is inclined to both hp and vp in that particular position we can't get the true inclinations in the final front view and final top view that's why these two are called as apparent angles this is the general method and by remembering this general standard problem you can solve any problem in projections of planes